In 2003, Richard Zuli oversaw one of the most brutal interrogations on record at Guantanamo Bay. But Zuli tested versions of his interrogation techniques on the Chicago streets he policed as a detective for 30 years. Here this guy is in another country torturing people, ordering that they be tortured. And so what do you think he'd do to a nigger in the Chicago police station? I didn't have a chance, man. Somebody that sick. In 1990, Detective Zuli came to believe Lethereal Boyd shot two men outside a Chicago reggae club despite Boyd's alibi and despite a lack of physical evidence connecting him to the crime. Zuli shackled Boyd to a wall for hours. I was mounted to the wall and floor. I remained in that room through two lineups. And um, I remember I asked, uh, after that second lineup, I asked Zuli if um, anybody had picked me out of the lineup. And he said, no. And I said, see, I told you, you got the wrong guy. I haven't done anything. He smiled at me and said, uh, we're charging you anyway. Court documents show that this piece of paper with Boyd's nickname and drug prices written on it appeared at the victim's hospital room weeks after the shooting. In a civil rights lawsuit, Boyd alleges Zuli planted the evidence, which was crucial to sentencing him to 82 years in prison. 82 years. I remember thinking, had he given me a life sentence, which in essence that is, but it's not going to hold up anyway. They're going to know. It held up. It held up half my life. Boyd did 23 years in prison before he was exonerated and freed in 2013. It still doesn't seem real. That I was there and, and, and went through all of that. Or that I'm here. It just, it's, I'm still trying to <sighs> But Lethereal Boyd may not be alone. The Guardian examined other cases, those of Lee Harris, Andre Griggs, and Benita Johnson, in which Zuli sent other suspects to prison for crimes they may not have committed. The ones who I know, I have to help get them out of there. Somebody help me. What kind of human being would I be if I didn't help them? Blindfold the motherfucker if he tries to look. One of them hit me hard across the face and quickly put the goggles on my eyes, earmuffs on my ears, and a small bag over my head. 